Hi there, welcome to uh, Harv's Air in Steinbach. So now I'm going to give you a tour of our operation here. Uh, we'll wander out to the um, to the ramp area. So Steinbach South uh, is unique in that it's our own airport. It's a private uh, airport and uh, it has two runways. Runway 3618 3,000 feet in paved and it has a grass crosswind runway 2507 and so the taxiway is in front of us there uh, just with SNV in behind SNV and um, and then the runway is north south so this is all our own own uh, airport our own property and the advantage is that we have control and now we're not distracted by anybody else and the advantage is that um, uh, you know, the training is as efficient as you can. Uh, this is one of our other Cetabrias. This is uh, Zulu Kilo Charlie. This one we just recently redid, repainted. And I'll just show you inside. Cetabrias we use for, even for private and commercial training, we'll do it on them. But also uh, aerobatics and tailwheel training. This one has uh, dual Garmin G5s. Uh, that's uh, Sierra, Sierra November Victor, one of our 172s, and that's Bravo X-ray Delta, uh, 152. This is our main uh, hangar here, and uh, this is our storage hangar and a maintenance hangar. Hopefully we can see something. Uh, so this is where we do our... Uh, our aircraft maintenance. This is uh, Gulf Oscar Oscar. It's a Piper Seminole. It's the middle of an inspection right now. Uh, airplanes need an inspection every every 50 or 100 hours. The 100 hour is a bigger inspection. The 50 hour is a smaller inspection. Um, and so we go over the airplane in quite the detail. This is a uh, Cessna 172, Zulu Yankee India, and uh, it too is getting an inspection right now. I can just show you inside briefly. Yeah, so this is uh, the maintenance shop for Steinbeck. Bravo Whiskey Juliet is another airplane we recently restored. Uh, we painted it and new engine, new glass, new radios, new interior. Uh, very extensive update. Hopefully, it's, hopefully you can see it even in the darker hangar. And uh, okay. and. Uh, so we'll wander back outside. Okay, so this is our the ramp area here. You can see students doing walk around. Before you go flying, you need to walk around the airplane, physically look at it, make sure that it's in good condition, make sure that the uh, fuel is good, the oil is good. This is the airplane taxiing in from a flight. And you can see students getting ready for flights. There, so this is another one of our hangars here. One of our storage uh, hangars. Uh, so we'll just keep walking over. Today is November 1. Beautiful day, it's about 16 Celsius now. And uh, yeah, we're enjoying it very much. Okay, so welcome to this hangar. Uh, and here we have our uh, Scout on Amphib floats. And uh, this is a uh, extra 330 SC. 
It's in the process of getting Canadianized. Luke is going to be flying it at the World's uh, Aerobatic Championship in Las Vegas in October of 2023. And then uh, I'll show you the studios for uh, pilot training. .ca. Sometimes people ask me where does uh, where does Aaron videotape? So we like to joke it's a top secret location, but I guess this will give the secret away. So this is where we shoot the uh, shoot the video. That is the green screen. Uh, I'm not sure what they're doing with this table right now, but they. We're always trying new stuff. And uh, so the, uh, the interesting thing about being on a green screen is you can't see what you're doing, other than if you look at these TVs or on this one. <clears throat> and uh, then we control the studio from back here. Megan uh, currently does all the video editing. This is our, our uh, switching board. And uh, this is actually about the fifth studio we built. Over time, we, uh, we find better and better ways, and we managed to build this one as the most recent one. And uh, we have the sound and the, and the lighting dial just in. And this is the office area that we use for pilot training. And you can see it through the hangar there. And you can see outside. Quebec Oscar Zulu. Uh, Cessna 152. This is our beach travel air. We use it for multi-engine training. It just came in from a flight. You can see the instructor and student are still in the airplane. This is another Citabria, India Bravo Alpha IBA, we call it. And uh, this is another one of our storage hangars. Uh, I don't know if there's any airplanes in it right now, but we'll go take a look. It's just empty right now, just back there. This, we just use this for cold storage, just to keep the airplane out of the elements. That's our, that's the main office over there. It used to be a hangar years ago. And uh, around the corner we have some accommodations. So it's very, very handy for students who are living here. They can literally fly and take a break, come to their, come to their place, and then uh, come back. So these are the three mobile homes at Steinbeck. We also own some houses uh, nearby in the town of Steinbeck. And uh, I'll just, I didn't warn these guys I'm coming, so hopefully they don't mind too much. Here's what it looks like. It's uh, basic, but it's uh, comfortable. And either Wi-Fi here, and uh, the location can't be beat.
I can show you in some of these airplanes. Bravo X-ray Delta. This is our front office, dispatch office where we sign airplanes in and out. This is a lounge uh, area. And uh, in here we have a flight simulator. Oh, it's dark in here too, but it'll give you the sense of the device. There's a Garmin 430W in it. A couple of years ago, one of our students flew to the South Pole with Ken Bork Air, so he put a hard air toque on the South Pole, literally. I was uh, just to show you briefly, this is the overall syllabus for the private pilot license. Each block represents a flying lesson. There is a manual that goes with this, uh, with this, with these blocks. So you can read in the manual what each lesson says. This is for the commercial license and for the multi and instrument rating. This is the main classroom slash foosball room, ping pong. This is the staff room, that's Stan, friendly neighborhood Stan. And there's some more briefing room back here in a boardroom. These rooms we use for study and for uh, preparation for flight. And uh, just, to, just to reiterate, this is Winnipeg here. Uh, Steinbeck, this is the town of Steinbeck. This is our airport here, the Steinbeck South Airport. There is another airport in the area, the Steinbeck North. Both runways are about 3,000 feet long. And uh, this is the Trans-Canada Highway. And this is St. Andrews here. Lake Winnipeg, Lake Manitoba. So this is in what we call the Red River Valley. It's a very, very shallow, flat valley with the Red River in the middle with the water going north. So these are briefing rooms. Another briefing room. Here's a briefing room being used. This is Aaron's office. Aaron does a flight, he's a flight test examiner, class one instructor. So you can see they've been, uh, they've been doing briefings on the board. There's Aaron. That's giving a tour of the school. Right on, sounds good. <laughs> and, uh, and there we go.